Hey, what is this, a microphone? Hey Dave, it's Monday. Congrats on figuring out time travel and happy Labor Day to all the people working. So recently I found a new creator on YouTube named Nandy Bushel. She's like eight or nine, I can't remember the exact age she is and she's like a drummer and she knows how to drum. It's amazing and she exudes so much joy. So I'll share that if you wanna check it out, but maybe think about some things recently. So my complex here had an ice cream social outside with an actual ice cream truck and I got a small cup of vanilla chocolate soft serve and got to listen to one of our local residents sing some tunes. You could say that the people I'm living around are a much, much higher level generation than I am. It's kind of uncomfortable and interesting sometimes. But see, the thing about it, right, is I have a lot to learn and I have a lot of listening that I can do. A lot of them are like oldies, so they're not like, they're meant to be slow dances, but they're not like my generation music. They're not something that I would dance to at a leadership conference. It was just fun to see those things and to actually do some dancing, which made me think a little bit about my favorite dancing experiences that I've ever had. Dancing with friends, with family, in the most random places that only have happen once and it just feels good uh, and also to see myself dancing in moments that I would never have remembered because I was too little to remember it at all. Of course, Dave, as you know from VidCon London, I am not one to shy away from being seen and being proud being seen, being silly and dancing around as we formed that one dance circle and all the moments I grasped feeling of being seen fully while doing something. Being seen and being proud of that and not being afraid to show imperfections and faults and weaknesses as well as strengths and talents and skills I think is really, really important. I I remember one state conference when I was a junior leader, this was like 2007, when I did a star event competition and I got like silver, so I was kind of disappointed in myself. I didn't really want to celebrate after that. I accepted what I received and then I went to this dance after that banquet after eating and I completely forgot about the competition and about my result and I think I focused on the people and the experience that really mattered to me was being with people and celebrating together and being goofy, being able to be responsible and take like the best parts of adulthood and the best parts of childhood and like mesh those together. Embrace being seen in whatever activity I'm doing, but especially dancing, which is why for the song Mac the Knife and another song right toward the end of the Ice Cream Social, I got up and I danced with a bunch of old people and it was great. Of course, it was like in a very large circle, responsibly socially distanced, except for the couples that were okay with slow dancing together. So so whether it's a virtual dance party on Zoom with a bunch of YouTube friends or dancing goofily during Jackbox games or two butterflies dancing outside, even butterflies can do it, Dave. I think we should keep on dancing, even if we're working from home. Dance recesses, even in the shower or at random moments, are rejuvenating and remember, we should like actually have enjoyment and fulfillment in what we're doing. So yeah, that matters a lot to me. I'll keep on dancing and singing in all the ways that exude joy and fulfillment in the, the things that I do. Have a great day, Dave. Don't forget to take some dance recess breaks, and I'll see you on Thursday.